Today I want to show you this power supply I've built using a DPS 505 module and a compact 3D printed case. Of course we will test it now using this H4 headlight bulb with both filaments wired in series. So let's see we are now at 10 volts. Let's turn it on. 10 volts, 3 amps, 30 watts. Let's increase our voltage so we can get to 50 watts at 14 volts. Let's go even higher. Okay, now we are at 20 volts and 86 watts. This module can go up to 5 amps and we are now having an input voltage of 36.5 volts. So, well, we could go probably up to 33 volts. On the side we have a fan and a USB port, which we will use later. Let's remove the power for a bit. Here we have an exposed main input. I've already loosened the screws so we can take a look inside. In the bottom we have a Kodak branded Delta power supply with 36 volts and 3 amps. Here we have the DPS 5005 module which does everything, all the voltage conversions. Here on the side a little um, step down regulator for the fan. And on the side the USB uh, controller. On this side there are also some vents and on the top so the heatsink on the DPS which can get quite hot as I've seen in other reviews. So now it gets cooled properly. Okay so now I've connected the power supply using USB and um, I've written a little Python program and I'm using minimal Modbus as a library. This module is using Modbus to communicate via USB and the original software is not really user friendly and quite big and I don't really like it. So um, we will now make a quick measurement. We will um, step through voltages and read the current back and write it to a CSV file. So at the end we hopefully have a nice graph um, for this bulb. We will start at 0 volts, stop at 15 and do steps of 0 0.25 volts. And here on the scope we can see the voltage rise. This power supply takes quite some time to respond after I send some um, command. And um, I'm also using half a second after each uh, command. So the voltage has some time to stabilize. And this is basically all you need. You um, just 
can turn the output on and set a key lock so you can accidentally um, change any uh, parameters on the unit itself. Okay, now we are finished. Let's take a look at our results. Okay. Just select, insert a diagram. We want X, Y. and current over voltage. This looks fine. Okay, so here we have it. In the beginning voltage is um, rising slowly and current is rising very fast. And uh, when the filaments heat up it gets, well, kind of linear. And this is the typical curve you would see in an incandescent bulb. Okay, so this was a quick overview about the power supply I've built. And if you already have one of those DPS modules and don't like the original software and want to interface it using Python, I have all the information and my code in the video description so you can try it out yourself.